Hello everybody, it has been a hot minute since I uploaded a vlog, mainly due to the fact that I got ill, I had something wrong with my stomach, which was weird, that was like a week, and then I got this terrible cold, which I still have, that is really holding on, um, in fact I've never had a cold last this long or be this intense in my whole life, definitely isn't coronavirus, I'm gonna touch wood just in case, um, but I don't have, um, I have a cough but it's not a dry cough which is kind of gross but <laughs> I'm very snotty and that isn't one of the symptoms. Um, that has meant I've just felt so drained, zapped of energy and just been feeling generally really run down and rubbish and every time I thought I felt okay I pushed myself to do something or go somewhere and I would then feel 10 times worse the next day so I think it was my body's way of being like bitch sit down do nothing stop working let me recover um so that's what i've been trying to do basically with everything that's happening with the coronavirus right now it's a really weird scary unknown time and i'm really aware that a lot of you watching this um, will be struggling in some capacity, everyone will be feeling things at varying different levels, um, different kind of anxieties around what's going on and I've seen firsthand a lot of people really struggling to deal with everything that's going on right now. For that reason, um, I'm going to try and keep my content as normal as possible, obviously, I mean, it's a very big serious thing that is happening and it will occasionally be talked about or um, pop up um, here and there because naturally it's something that is going on in all of our lives. As much as I can I'm going to be very sensitive to the fact that a lot of you are coming here um, for an escape and uh, for a reason not to think about it and I am so aware of that. I myself am doing the same thing with the content that I'm consuming right now. Um, I said yesterday on my Instagram stories, sorry if you've already seen that, I am kind of repeating myself but I feel like I need to say this before I carry on vlogging the day and vlogging over the next couple of weeks just because um, I don't want any of you to think I'm being insensitive or I'm avoiding it or I'm being ignorant or um, it's not something that I am thinking about. I'm thinking about this all the time. I'm thinking about it a lot. And actually for me to be vlogging and giving you guys something to watch to help you is a great distraction for me as well. And I'm really excited to create content that I hope will make you smile or at least make you not feel so bad um, with everything that's going on right now. I'm also not going to be giving any advice or talking about it in great detail. Um, as I said on Instagram, the place to go for that is to check in with your government, whichever country you are living in. Um, check in with your government and kind of get your updates there with what you should be doing, what's going on. Um, any health advice should always be taken from healthcare professionals and that's the NHS for us here in the UK. Um, I am not the person, I don't know enough, you know, I know what you know um, and I'm learning as you're learning and we're all in this together and it feels really weird um, but I want to, as I said, I want to try and bring a sense of normality where I can. I can't say that that means coming to my videos um, is gonna be a 100% corona free place. I can't say that because this is my life, my everyday life and you know, if I hear something positive about it or something, some huge development happens, I'm probably gonna document it in some way but I am also just very, very, very aware of the amount of you that have messaged me saying, please just continue as normal, that's all I want to see, your content's my escape and it makes me feel more relaxed and that's what I'm going to try and do. Yeah? Upstairs! <sighs> going to be working from home with this one for God knows how long. <sighs> to be fair, I work from home half the week anyway, so... For me, it hasn't felt too different yet. Other than loads of sexy time. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. 
<laughs> and also, no, that hasn't happened. <laughs> Do you want to get in and sit down next to me? Rather yeah. than be like some Tom and Jerry That's because it's character. not me, you're just putting my voice over, it's not even Alfie. <laughs> um, I did say I reckon there's going to be a baby boom in December and January. Yeah. And also, it's crazy, I didn't realise until the other day... Sit down next to me, because your head's cut off. You know, I didn't realise, if you have sex once, you get pregnant, you have sex again, you get pregnant again. You have two babies in there. It's madness, isn't it? Think how many babies people are going to be having. What? What you just said makes no sense. You know, dogs can do that, though. Yeah, that's what happened with Nala. Yeah. She was part of two different litters, but no, they were born at the same the time. Second, yeah. Alfie is... Has ants in his. You know what Alfie's like. He has I ants in his I actually don't pants. right now, though. No, but this is what I'm so surprised about. Mm. Like, Alfie's Mister. I can't sit down. Like in that video we filmed, you were like, I admire how you can do nothing. Yeah, I think I know why though. Legit, I'm not missing out on anything. Everyone's having to do that. If everyone else was living day to day normal life, you'd be. Like, and they were like, Instagram story and going having fun. I would be like, I'm missing out. Right. But right now, I know I'm not missing out. Yeah, that's true. Which sounds ridiculous. Come on then. But I, somewhere in my head, it makes sense. Who do you want to sit on? Definitely me. <laughs> hey. Um, I think Nala is a bit like, what's going on? Hey. Why are you both here so much? Why is no one? There are a lot of amazing employees out there. And if you are one of those people that is watching this, that is still working every day whether you're part of the nhs or you're working in a supermarket or you are caring for somebody if you're a carer or if you are you know our local delivery man jeremy so oh, i didn't finish what i was saying you're doing a fucking incredible job so we're just gonna keep on keeping on i want to just try and keep normal like I just said in my vlog, I was like, I still want to be getting up, having a shower, getting fresh every day. Like, it'll be very easy to slip into, like, mm, I'll stay in pyjamas today. But then I feel like after doing that for a week or two, it would start affecting... You, you would, it would affect you more mentally. More than just work, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? So I still want to, like, for me, I'm going to try and make an effort to still get up, get dressed, do all, like, my normal meetings at the normal times I would, but just via Skype or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of routine. Um, in fact, I think we're both better dressed right now than we ever are when we go out. Well, I'm thinking we put more now, effort in now I'm than almost feeling anything well. We've ever done. I pretty much have lived in my pajamas for like the last two weeks. So I just thought I'd start my vlog with that. Um, I am sending out a massive virtual three foot away hug to all six of you. Six, oh, is it six foot? I think it's six. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sending you a virtual. A virtual hug to those of you that are really struggling with this right now. Um, because I know that that's a lot of people. Okay, so what are we doing today? <laughs> I've got work call in 34 minutes, but I've got to finish working on a deck for it. I've got a work call at one, a work call at you need to two, write. and a work call at 2.30. And we're all like in the group chat still messaging each other like morning everyone because i'm just very aware i don't want people to feel lonely and also we're um our office manager does like friday drinks at 4 p.m every friday <laughs> and we're still doing that we're and still she's, doing even, she's it. even done a quiz <laughs> we're doing a quiz yeah, we're too. all gonna go i'm gonna make a cocktail yeah i'm actually Same. Gonna. I'm gonna do a g and d yeah. and that's tomorrow and then we'll all um have a drink at the same time together and all play yeah. all do a quiz which would be nice. Um, one thing I would really love to know um, is what kind of content would you like to see? Obviously, bearing in mind it's going to be home related. Um, I did ask on Insta stories. Yeah, and I got out some... and about favourite restaurants. <laughs> Bloody hell. Um, I asked on Insta stories and I got quite a lot of really great suggestions. But I just thought it'd be nice to ask you guys here as well what you want to see. What would make you happy right now? Um... And between us, we will do our best to deliver that to you. We want to do a load of Instagram lives. We want to, yeah, just we're around more than oh. ever. Are you okay? What are you doing? <laughs> I kind of want to show them what she's just done. She's gone through my leg. What are you doing? You trying to stay warm because it's bloody <laughs> cold in this house. <laughs> she is yeah. being funny, isn't she? She's acting a bit like... I think it's because we're just here. She's like, what is going on? Why, why are you guys here? 
Anyway, are you excited to work from home with me? I actually am, you know. Are you? No, genuinely, I'm enjoying mm. I'm enjoying it more than what I thought I would. Mm. No. Not that self-isolating so and all of the situation is, in, is enjoyable, do you know what I mean? But considering the circumstances. Yeah. Um, it is what it is, isn't it? Just mm. have to try and make the most of the situation in any way you can. That's what I was just chatting with, um, delivery driver now, and he just said, oh, my son's not going to be doing any of his exams and he's so gutted because he's worked so hard for his exams coming Aww. up um and he's so gutted that he can't do them i'm guessing it's gcse's yeah um and he said but is what it is we can't do anything can we we just got to carry on let's go get cracking on bloody hell this is a whole video in itself 18 minutes jeez if you thought zoe's videos were long before these videos are going to be like three hours a no day. they're not they're not they're going to be an hour no we're already at 18 minutes. My video, my video that's going up tonight is 25 minutes or something. That's long for you. Exactly, so I'm saying yours are going to be bloody three hours. No, I'm not. Only It's only because I have to do a big chunky chat. Big old chunky chat, you but know? You love a chunky chat. I do love a chunky chat. <coughs> <coughs> are you okay? I nearly died. <laughs> Quick, give some life. I'm going to go make myself a hot chocolate. Get set up for my meeting. And... Alfie's right, I do still have a book to write. So, to be honest, um, nothing... Alfie's also right, this vlog's gonna be three hours. <laughs> yeah, Alfie's also right, this vlog is probably gonna be three hours long. Um, I am still writing uh, Magpie Society. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done much in the last week, just because I felt ill and with all this going on, my headspace didn't have any room to think about <laughs> Um, writing a book so I think as it currently stands me and Amy are about eight chapters from the end which is good going if I say so myself I've got four more chapters to write and I think Amy's probably got around the same amount um, but we haven't obviously been able to meet this week we like to do our regular meetings just to see what we've both done um, but because we've not been able to do that, um, it's all just been a bit up in the air. So we've got a magpie meeting. Uh, I don't actually know what this meeting's about, but it's got a lot of people in it. We'll see. I've got this on um, Netflix. It's the Sugar Rush Christmas special. I never actually got to watch it at Christmas time, but I'm obsessed with this program. I love it. I binge watched all the series that came out before this in like two days about a year ago and I was gutted when I realised there weren't more to watch and then when this came out I was like yes it's like my favourite show and Christmas so I just started watching that this morning it made me happy I like it I am using the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer that Alfie got for Christmas which I think I've used more than Alfie has put some milk in up to the max line I'm popping this in. This is the Milky 50% single serve hot chocolate. It's kind of like broken up bits of chocolate. It's so good. Pop the lid on. Is it turned on? Yep. Turn it on. Oh. Is he not working? Alfie, your velvetizer's broken. Yeah? Do no, it won't turn on. Oh no. I didn't make it work, so I just used the frother on the coffee machine, which actually looks pretty damn good. Oh my god, this looks delicious. Mm. Look at that. Okay, I'm about to join meeting one of the day. Um, join with computer audio. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, where's my camera? Oh, there we go. Okay, it's working. There you are. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 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 There she is. 
<laughs> oh, baby girl. Who's that? Oh. I can miss her. <laughs> oh, she's doing a little gag. <laughs> Bless her little face. Come here. Oh. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, Who's that? Who is it? Oh my so god! Confused. Dogs. Dala, who's that? Bear, look. Who's this? Our first magpie meeting, where we all have to be in a different room. <laughs> this is the future. <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> well, the future for now. <laughs> yeah. Hello guys, so it's been a while since the last bit of footage that you just watched and that is because my cold seemed to have got a lot worse before it got better. I thought I was in the all clear and that I was getting better and then I got struck with a chest infection which meant that if I spoke, ate, drank, breathed, I was coughing up my lungs. Um, so that wasn't really very fun. Um, but I had Alfie looking after me and there's worse things going on in the world. I shall not complain about a chest infection. In fact, there was one point where I was on the phone to my mum and I was like, I think I might have to go and see a doctor, but I don't want to because I don't want to be taking up other people's um, appointments. And I know the NHS is really stretched right now and I don't want to be freaking people out in the waiting room with my cough. So I just didn't, I just, stayed in bed, drank a lot of fluids and took a lot of paracetamol and thankfully I started feeling a little bit better just as it was my birthday. Um, so yeah, I'm now 30. Hi, my name's Zoe and I am 30 years old. Age is a number, I don't really feel like I'm 30. But then does anyone ever feel like their actual age? I don't know. Had a really lovely day for my birthday. Uh, obviously, we stayed in. <laughs> we didn't see anyone or do anything. Um, but it was a really nice day and Alfie made so much effort and it still felt like my birthday and it still felt really special. So, love him for doing that. And we did things like, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, but Alfie planned with his family at 6 p.m. for us to all be making pizzas. So they were in their houses and we were all on FaceTime making pizzas together with pizza dough, which was so nice. Um, and my friend Katie and her fiance Simon um, hosted a quiz. So there was like four, I think it was four or five different rounds. And we all did a massive big group quiz, which was really, really fun. And apart from that, oi, excuse me. No, none of that. What I'm trying to say is, I'm feeling much better. I'm now 30 years old. I really hope you guys are doing well. Um, and that, you know, we'll all get through this together. And you're allowed your rocky days. You're allowed to feel sometimes like you don't have the brain capacity to deal with what's going on. We're in the middle of a bloody pandemic. You know what I mean? So if you needed to hear that from me today, then I hope that's helped. And I saw someone post something on Instagram today that was like, you don't have to have learned a new skill. You don't have to be doing this, that, and the other. Like we're in the middle of a pandemic. Like deal with it how you wanna deal with it. Do what you wanna do to make you feel better. And if that means sitting on your sofa with no bra and your hair scrunched up in a top knot and watching box sets back to back, and playing on Animal Crossing, which is basically what I did a lot of, um, then that's fine. You do you. Alternatively, if getting up, getting dressed, putting on some makeup, doing your hair, following along on Instagram with someone's fitness regime or baking along, which I'm gonna be doing a bit of today, um, and doing things is also making you feel better, then that's great. Um, I'll probably be doing a mixture of both. I'll have days where all I want to do is play Animal Crossing <laughs> and I'll have days where I'll get up and feel like vlogging and feel like doing stuff and <sighs> working. So as long as there's a little mixture of the two, but yeah, weird times, we're all trying to find a balance and uh, that's where I've been. <laughs> I really want to film an IGTV video of making a banana loaf, which 
everyone has already done but i had black bananas and i was like oh and also i've not seen a chocolate chip one yet and you know me it ain't gonna be the healthiest of recipes and if i can put chocolate into something then i'm bloody gonna so i'm gonna do a chocolate chip banana loaf for igtv but i'm also gonna film it here as well because i know that you guys like to have the option of both um so i've just set out all the ingredients got your bananas your butter your sugar your flour your eggs actually i'm going to talk you through it now um on the camera so you want to put your uh oven at 140 celsius if you have a fan oven or 160 if not which does sound quite low but just trust me um this recipe is a mary berry recipe but i always double it and I have a little secret ingredient for on top as well. Um, so we have two eggs, two tablespoons of milk, 100 grams of chocolate chips, a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, a teaspoon of baking powder, two very ripe bananas, 100 grams of butter, 150 grams of caster sugar, and 150 grams of plain flour. Then you're just gonna want a little loaf tin, a bowl, and your hand whisk, or a wooden spoon, but it's easier with a hand whisk. And then this, which I like to sprinkle on the top for a bit of extra crunch, is demerara sugar, which I don't know if you'll have, um, but I have some, and it's not essential, but it is quite nice. Also, if you are not into chocolate chips or you don't have any currently in your cupboard then you can always leave those out um, or you could put raisins sultanas um, nuts anything that you fancy or you could always crumble up an easter egg and put that in yeah. this recipe by the way is not groundbreaking it's nothing crazy it's not hard at all um but it is always my go-to if i'm gonna do a banana bread or a banana loaf this is the recipe that i'll always use and it's particularly nice for breakfast i've done this a few times when we've had like breakfast meetings because it's so easy just to throw in a bowl mix up very quickly throw it into a um baking tin and then because you have to bake it for over an hour, I then go upstairs and get ready for the day. So it's one of those things that's like, if you, if you feel a little bit prepared, it's a nice thing to do in the morning. And then when you come back down and you're ready for the day, you've got fresh warm banana bread to eat. It's really good. I'm ready to film the IGTV. Alfie's gonna help me. Cameraman's ready. Do you think this will end in a no one likes it separation? <laughs> We've not tried to do anything worky together yet. We've still been very separate. I was literally saying in a video the other day, I was like, so I mean like, somebody asked me like a little Q&A segment, someone was like, have you and Zoe argued much? Like, how are you getting on? And I was like, we've actually argued far less than what I thought. I am not gonna that, lie, I was, I was like, this is gonna end bad. And I said in the video, I was like, I was <laughs> saying that, Zoe's been ill and in bed most of the time, so we haven't actually done much <laughs> together because she's not well, so we haven't like had the opportunity and this is it, this is the first one. Let's <laughs> see how this goes. If the ITTV doesn't go up. <laughs> then you know why. That would actually oh. be so funny. I'd love to know how you guys are all getting on with your significant others. How's it been both working from home? Because for a lot of people, they've never worked alongside their partner. Or the opposite. Are you eating the chocolate chips? Can you not? <laughs> You can't have me be part of it if I can't treat myself. Alfie, stop! That's not 100 grams now. Um, <laughs> it's 99.9. .9. What was I going to say? Yeah, or the opposite. Imagine people that are like see each other every day but don't live together. And then now they're not together. And they have to be separate for like a month or two. As in they worked together? No, as in just people that are in a relationship. Super close. Oh, but to each different other houses. Day, but both live at home. And yeah. now they don't get to see each other. That must be really imagine hard. not seeing your boyfriend, girlfriend, partner, whatever. Yeah, that would be sad. I need a tripod for this. 
Do we have one lying around? Oh, no, I, I see Alfie you. Days has got no, one. No, 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 no. I told you where your one is. Where? You've already left it. Oh, it's in the, in the bedroom yeah. at the bottom of my bed. I already okay, told you this. I'll go and get Don't it. Don't try and steal my one. Day one of filming, stealing my stuff. I mean, it would have been much quicker for you to just no, let me it borrow would stay that. On there for three days. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It would. Oh, God. Yeah? So if we argue, do you give me permission to leave it in? So that you it can depends, see you started it. it. Depends who's being a prick, <laughs> me or you. If you're being a prick, then yeah. If it's me, then let's leave that out. Your jumper does look so much like the sky right now. Look. You ready? <laughs> we'll do a little IGTV today. Wait, and we'll do it again. So I don't know if my finger was over the mic <laughs> at the bottom. It might have been over the mic. You ready? Three, two, one. Little bit of baking. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, so I thought we'd do an idea. First thing you want to do is pop your banana in and then using a fork, just want to mash it a little bit. Do you want to try and make your hand look a little bit less like a turkey I don't throat? care about that. Okay. <laughs> like a what? Turkey leg. In with the butter. Mary's method is pretty much throw it all in, which I like. Sugar. Plain flour. Bicarb. Bicarb. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Baking powder. Tidy as we go, which I never do. Oh no, chocolate chips, you don't make them. That was close. Um, milk. And two eggs, which went off March 31st. So I'm just gonna crack them into this bowl just in case. They should be fine. I can hear my mum now saying, oh, they'll be fine, Zoe. But last time she said that, I cracked an egg and it was black and it sprayed out all over me and I smelt like a bum hole. So, it's nice to check. I think they're all right. Yeah. Two eggs. <laughs> Gotta make do with what we've got right now. Okay, using a hand whisk, I'm literally just gonna blitz this all up. You don't wanna over mix it though. You just wanna make sure everything's combined. Once your ingredients are all combined, now is when you want to add your chocolate chips because if you add them in before, you just blitz them all up and then you don't actually have chocolate chips at all. So you sprinkle those in and then just using a spoon, I'm going to fold them in. Now you're just going to want to pour it into your tin. Now I've poured it in, I'm just going to put a little bit of demerara on the top. Oops. I mean, just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's going in the oven, and this usually when it's half the ingredients so if you're following mary berry's recipe which i'll leave in a little link um in the description bit um is about 40 to 45 minutes but because we've doubled the recipe i usually put it in for around an hour i'll do the prick test in around an hour's time so while the banana loaf is baking i thought i would just sit down have a little chat obviously okay um, obviously, it's just going to be a lot of the, this kind of video. It's just sitting down having a chat because it's just me and Alfie at home. Um, so I thought I would do a little update, I guess, of what I've been enjoying, um, some of the things I'm doing right now, and what got me through feeling ill, which was this. 
Um, Alfie's had one of these for a really long time. No, he's had the one that you can pull the controls off the side. I think this one is a light version or something. I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm not really a gamer. Um, I don't watch gaming videos. I, I mean, I just wouldn't put myself in the category of a gamer ever. Uh, I used to play The Sims a lot from like the age of... My God, what's he doing in there? From the age of like nine or whenever The Sims came out, um, my summer holidays were consumed with The Sims. When I've got time, I can get really obsessed with things and they take over my whole life. Oh, my battery's flashing, that's annoying. Um, so I used to love The Sims. I like reality style games, I suppose. I mean, what is The Sims? What category does that go into? I'm not too sure. The Sims and Theme Hospital and uh, Theme Park World and things like Roller Coaster Tycoon, stuff like that, um, I love. Those are the only games I've ever played in my entire life. Um, and Alfie told me to play Animal Crossing the other day on his. And I literally was like, no, like, I'm not into it. It doesn't look good. Like I'm used to the Sims where people look pretty lifelike and there's a lot to do. And I looked at Animal Crossing and I was like, it just looks a bit basic or I don't know. I just, I just thought, nah, it's not for me. Um, and then he literally just like put it in my hand and was like, just try it just for half an hour. You got nothing else to do. And I was like, all right then. So I had a go and then I was like, oh man, I'm addicted. Like I couldn't put it down. I was like, oh, this is good. It's kind of a story-based game, which is my favourite kind. Um, and I got really into it. And then Alfie ordered me my own um, Nintendo Switch. And I downloaded the game and started again on this. Um, along with Poppy, Sean, Steve, Alexia. And then Alfie restarted his game because we were kind of sharing an island. Which you can do, but we wanted our own. Um, so all of us now have this whatsapp chat where we're all just like guys look at this fish i caught guys and we go on and we facetime each other and we all go to each other's islands and we're getting really into it i think it's a combination of not being able to like see my friends and do things together so this kind of feels like our version of like doing fun things together but also the game takes you to a whole other world and I think right now it's something that me and a lot of other people are really craving and to kind of go into this other world and like there's a museum on there um if you have the game surprisingly on my Instagram a lot of you are playing it um the museum in there when I go in there I feel the most calm I have felt in like the last three months just going into my museum and watching the fish in the tanks I'm like this is the best thing I've ever seen. Could be because I haven't been out of this house for like over two weeks. But um, yeah, Animal Crossing New Horizons is fantastic. And I never thought I would say that. Next thing is the Zoella Book Club. I know I've spoken about this before, but I think more than ever, a lot of people are looking for kind of a sense of community online and also reading a lot more. So I just thought I would mention it again. Make sure you are checking the website, which is literally www.zoella.co.uk. And also follow the Zoella account on Instagram because we're still sharing lots of content and hopefully it's kind of giving you something to read, something to do, something to make you feel good. And I just thought it was worth mentioning that the book of this month, or the book for March that's just gone, we're just reviewing this now, was um, One of Us Is Lying by Karen McManus. I loved this. Let me know what you thought down here and go over to our post on Instagram. It's not actually currently up. I don't know when it's going up, but like get involved in conversation. Um, I love when people follow along with the book club because I don't know, I'm one of those people that when I'm reading something, I really love to know that there's other people reading it at the same time and then being able to like all discuss it afterwards is fun. So yeah, this was our March book. So let me know if any of you read that or if you've read it before and you really enjoyed it. If you are after a book recommendation, I highly recommend this. I really, really loved it. It's a YA, um, it's based in a high school and um, it follows a narrative of four different characters, which I absolutely loved. And 
there's a death of a student at the beginning and it kind of follows the story of it unfolding so if you like a bit of a thriller and you like kind of a high school thriller vibe i think you'll really like this moving on to april's book which is why i'm talking about it here i'm gonna go and grab it because it's currently in the conservatory wait one second okay book for april if any of you want to follow along um or i guess now now's the time where kindles are pretty useful because you don't have to order a book to your house or go to the bookshop you can just download it but i have a hard copy for the purposes of being able to do this and also for the office and photos um it's marion keys grown-ups quite a chunky one it's almost like this month we predicted we'd have a little more time on our hands marion keys grown-ups had some great things about this just thought it looked really interesting um i'm not gonna lie i have literally read about 25 pages so far so i can't really give you much more than that but if you do want to join in with the zoella book club for this month that is what the book is and i'd love to know if you are planning to join oh i made a little song um challenge slash uh collaboration so my friends in my group chat on whatsapp sent this um like song challenge i've seen quite a few of them around every day for 30 days you have a different song prompt um and you pop it into a playlist or you just share uh the song that kind of goes with what it is that it's asked you to do so for example day one your go-to karaoke song day two a song that makes you happy day three your favorite 70s song lots of different song prompts for 30 days and there's lots of them online and um, we were doing one in our friend group chat and i was like i just love this because we were all adding to one spotify playlist so we were all sharing a playlist and every day we were adding in a song that related to the um the prompt and it's actually ended up being the most banging playlist because we've all got like such different tastes but also so many songs that i'm like oh my god i remember that song like it's just great so if you're looking for something fun to do with your friends who you can't spend any time with right now or your family i have um i have one with team zoella so we're all adding to it every day and i have one with all of alfie's family so i've got the team zoella quarantine playlist and the days family quarantine playlist and i created a little graphic with different song prompts every day for 30 days it was shared on the zoella account and i literally just whacked it up on my stories now but it's been so fun seeing you doing it on insta stories as well like every day i'm sharing my song choice on insta stories um but I also love the um, the collaborative uh, aspect of it. So all of us adding a different song every day. I really love seeing what people pick. Like I love seeing like Sean's karaoke go to. And like, I just, I don't know. It's really, really fun. So it's really easy to set up. If you go into Spotify, um, when you create a playlist, you can change one of the settings that it says uh collabor collaborative playlist as long as you tick that and you send the link to like your family or your friends group chat then they can follow it and add songs so that's another thing i did that's really fun and i'm really enjoying um i do feel like i'm going to be that annoying person though every day that's like don't forget to put your song in <laughs> it's only day two and i've already been like pestering people like hey you've not put your song in yet <laughs> I just don't I just don't want anyone to to stop doing it on day two that would make me really sad <laughs> maybe like day 25 but not day two I'm so an Aries um right so I think yeah those are a couple of things I've been really enjoying if you want to do the 30 day song collaboration or just post the song that is relevant to you somewhere on your stories or what have you then you can find it on the Zoella Instagram account or on my stories daily. So yeah, that is kind of a bit of an update. And I'm probably not gonna film too much more after this because I'm really aware that this is probably already very long and all I've really done is talked at you this entire video. Um, but the banana loaf should be done soon. So 
I can smell it, it smells bloody great. I'm excited to eat it. <laughs> Takes out the oven, it's cooled, and Alfie and I have just had a slice. It was delish. You Here it yours? is. Yeah. I smacked mine. Um, I just said to Alfie, it didn't actually come out how it usually comes out. I don't know what I did differently. I didn't do anything differently, but, oh, I used different chocolate chips. That's the only oh, thing. Oh, that's definitely what it is then. All the that's chocolate the went to the different. bottom. I used smaller chocolate chips than usual. Usually I use chocolate chunks and I use chocolate chips this time. So I don't know whether that meant all the chocolate just sunk. I don't know. I don't know the science behind it, but it's not the best I've ever made it. So that's a bit annoying. <laughs> Never mind. It was fun to do and I feel like other people will follow along and probably get it right. It still tastes delish. Um, I ended up putting it in the oven for around an hour and five minutes. Were you making a Moscow mule? Yeah, boy. Shut yeah. I don't know how to make it though, so I'm gonna have to do it. Lime cordial, ginger beer, and vodka. No, I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't drink. Does anyone else ever have to do that to their dog? It's time to make dinner. Um, I've got Arden Rose doing a live stream from Twitch on Animal Crossing. Her Twitch is a rose 186 if you want to go and watch it. Um, me and Alfie have been literally been watching her. She's doing a live stream every day this week. So every time we're in the kitchen making dinner, we put her live stream on. <laughs> Alfie just said in his live, he's like, we're in isolation with Arden because <laughs> she's always here in our kitchen every evening, which is funny. Anyway. So for dinner, I'm having what I would call a classic child's comfort dinner. Yeah. I'm having potato waffles um, <laughs> with baked beans and fried egg because we all, we got the waffles um, and on the box it's got beans and egg and I was like, oh my god, I need to eat that. <laughs> so that's what I'm having for my dinner. I don't know why I decided to do fried egg because I actually can't cook fried eggs. I just find the whole process very stressful and I'm not very good at it. Um, is that done? The only thing that I'm a bit worried with though is I think it's they done. are burning on the bottom. Do you think? Yeah. I just can't tell. They do smell a bit Burnie McBurn. I'm going to turn them off then. Then we have a little ushni. Yeah, that's done. Yeah, it's getting there. I've, just, I've turned it off so it'll just, the heat will just circulate. I can do scrambled, I can do my little poach, I'll take the shells off, I can do a boiled egg. I just don't really do fried eggs much. They're not my favourite egg to have to be fair. Are they your favourite? Have you explained who's shouting in the kitchen? Yeah, <laughs> it's Arden. <laughs> Wait, excuse me, my waffles are coming through. That's what I said. I was in the mood. For comfort food. One. This one broke because I um. <laughs> it's like <laughs> the most rigid egg I've ever seen. I don't think I've got any runny yolk in there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. So I just can't do fried eggs. Did you hear that? Oh, someone's Someone driving past clapping. <laughs> someone just drove past clapping. But this time I don't know if that many people are as, wet, as aware. I can hear people outside. <gasps> Look at that bat. Oh wait. People are beeping. Oh, Is it eight o'clock now? There's bloody bats flying about. Oh, one minute, one minute. One minute, let me open the front gates. No, oh, okay. Let me open the gates. People are banging pots. Can you clap? Out of the gates. Because I can't, I can't we clap. We can't film out of the gates either. Because then we'll give away where we live. I want to go out though. Guys, we don't really live in a very built up area. Yeah. yeah, I can hear people doing it. Imagine working <laughs> the NHS now and then just like driving home from your shift and just. <laughs> so sick. 
I'm clapping my thigh. I'm high, gonna have high, a bloody oh, bruise it. on my chest from this. So is this a Thursday night thing now? I think it's every Thursday, yeah. Oh, I love it. It's cool, isn't it? So good. You can actually hear it for miles. Look, listen. People are beeping. They're banging on a saucepan. Down there is loud, isn't it? There's yeah. more houses down that way. Look at all the bats. Like, it's actually nuts how many bats there are. Can you hear them banging on them? Out the tree. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the thing. Oh. That's the I cried last week, and then I cried every time I watched everyone's story of so it. <laughs> um, it is really cool. Oh, but yeah, we don't um, have that many houses directly around us. But everyone still goes out, which is really cute. I kind of just assumed everyone would know exactly what we were doing then, because I feel like everyone did it last week and probably just now. Um, but it's a clap for the NHS, Thursdays, 8 p.m., just to show our appreciation for everybody working on the front lines and all the key workers, the teachers, everybody, the carers. The people who are on the front line of the NHS who are working their absolute asses off to try and keep the country afloat. Um, so if you are one of those people and you happen to be watching my vlogs, we love you. You're doing a fucking incredible job and good on you. You're amazing. And um, yeah, the, the stuff you're doing is just absolutely incredible. So thank you so much. Look at Nala. You want to do a clap? Yay! Yay! Oh, she didn't like it. <laughs> Can you hear that? Cute. Just taking off my makeup. Playing a bit of Animal Crossing. <laughs> Where is a hairband? I don't have one. <laughs> Loving Alfie's singing. I'm going to use this to take off my makeup tonight. It is the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed Total Cleansing Oil which has a delicate blend of bilberry, borage, cucumber, and sunflower oils. Sounds like, um, <laughs> Roald Dahl characters. <laughs> bilberry and borage. Gonna use my fave toner, the Dr. Robux, Robux Life Saver Skin Brightening Toner, which I'm running out on, so I need to get some more. And then my favourite nighttime serum, which is the Allies of Skin Mandelic Pigmentation Corrector Night Serum, which I just love. Just do a couple of pumps. Poppy days! What? Oh my god, Alfie! <laughs> my wrist is about to break. Do you mind taking the egg? I'll take the phone. And the egg. The egg? I found the egg in the garden. I was digging. <laughs> Don't forget. What? <laughs> to add your song. <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> Good girl. Listen, you're going to be doing this every day, though. That's what I just said in my vlog. Oh, Nala's run away. I'm literally standing here on FaceTime to you guys, holding a fucking giant Easter egg. <laughs> Sounds good. I sold my table. How much did it come to? 27. Oh, well good. Right, I'm gonna hand, I've done my skincare. Are you on your, are you on your Nintendo? Yeah. Can you get off your lips, 
Oh, oops. Oh, there we go. I didn't know I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> Skincare all done, ready for bed. I'm actually really tired. Yeah, Alfie is never like this usually. It's usually me that's like so ready for bed. I've got like the biggest spot here. It's I just really feel like sore. I'm going to get a boost of energy in a minute though. You and then definitely be up are. Until two. I mean, you just brought an Easter egg the size of my head up to bed. If you're going to sit and eat that, you're going to be awake. <laughs> I won't eat the whole thing. I'll eat like. Quarter. Half of it. Half. Anyway, I'm gonna end this here. Hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Sorry it's been a bit all over the place. Oh, it's not focusing. Sorry that this has been a bit all over the place, but I will continue to pick up my camera as and when I feel like you might want to see what I'm up to. Not that it's anything that exciting, but thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you soon.